mom life, am I right? <laughs> hey guys, so I'm sorry if you can kind of hear that noise. I'm just gonna say quickly, I'm just gonna hop on and share um, a little bit about my postpartum weight loss. And then my mom texted me, she watches Chunky on Mondays and Tuesdays and said, he is screaming uncontrollably and it's only been two hours since he ate. And I was like, feed him. I have to pump when he eats regardless of whether or not it's time. So give me a second, cause it's literally all just happened. And I was like, you know what? We keep it real, let's let's keep it real real. <laughs> all right, so let's talk about postpartum fitness. I have avoided this topic long enough. I'm just gonna tell you what worked for me. And what worked for me may not work for everybody. Couple little disclaimers here. I will be talking about diet and exercise in this video. I will be using the term diet and I will also be talking about calorie counting. If those are like trigger words for you, um, if you don't think that those are things that should be discussed, this is not the video for you again. just click on out um, because that's what works for me. So, and again, it's just not my intentions to ever offend anybody. And it's just, it's what works for me may not work for you. And I can't say that enough. And the biggest thing that I want you guys to take away from this with big flashing neon signs, however I can say it, I had a healthy and easy pregnancy. I had a healthy and easy time getting pregnant. Um, I went to the chiropractor, which I do think that had a lot to do with why my labor was super easy. Labor from start to finish. I literally woke up at like, it was like 3.20 and I was like, holy, this is a contraction. This is real. It is happening. This baby is coming today. It was 3 a.m. Baby was born at 5.02 p.m. I pushed for 20 minutes. Labor was a cakewalk, okay? And my son slept through the night starting at 10 days old. I don't know how, I don't know why, but I thank my lucky stars every day that he is a good sleeper, even through the sleep regression right now. He is a fantastic sleeper. Those three things made it one, easy for me to have a healthy pregnancy, which did contribute to an easy postpartum experience, but two, they allow me the ability to continue to put my health first and to have a great postpartum experience, which I know that so many women do not. And I mentioned that on Instagram one time that I did not want to talk about my very positive, amazing postpartum experience because I didn't want to take away from the people who have had these horrible postpartum experiences. And so many women were like, some women got attitudes with me and they were like, absolutely not. One, your postpartum experience is just as valid as everybody else's. And two, we need to hear more good things about postpartum because a lot of people actually messaged me too and said they had a great postpartum experience. And it was just terrifying. Like I used to lay in bed and just cry because I was so scared of what was gonna come next at postpartum. And so to come to the flip side and out of nowhere, I had this amazing postpartum experience. I felt really guilty. Um, and a lot of people have told me I'm not allowed to feel guilty and that my postpartum experience is valid. So I'm taking that. All of those things have made it me able to get back to get back. I hate that terminology, but that's just the easiest way to like put it to get my body back to where it was um, in a certain way prior to having Ezra. My hips are a lot wider now. Um, my body, although I am back at my pre-pregnancy weight, looks nothing like it did before. And that's okay. I gave birth to the most beautiful little boy who brings me joy like nothing else in the world. And so it, you know, everything else is, is just, it's extra. It's just, it's all relative. It's, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. So um, prior to getting pregnant with Ezra, this is kind of important. I did, so I was eating about 2000 calories a day. I did Orange Theory um, three times a week and I was doing the sweat workout from home three times a week, which I've done since 2020. I loved that workout. I felt like it was a really good at home workout, but Orange Theory, I feel like was just something else. One, to kind of fill the time. I didn't have a baby at the time, so I had all the time in the world. But two, it, it was, you know, just an extra thing to really push me over the edge and really get me to my fitness goals and that's why I was in the best shape of my life when I got pregnant um, and my doctors were not loving the idea of orange theory while I was pregnant because I guess like one of the nurses there had done orange theory so they knew how hardcore it was there are some pregnant women who do orange theory there was a pregnant woman in my class but my doctor was not the not the most excited about it but still left the option up to me so because of her um, the way she kind of felt about it I, I decided not to do orange theory and throughout my pregnancy I continued doing the sweat workout through three times a week. Um, I'll put the little picture up on the screen. It's available in the app store um, for I think both Android and iPhone. You do have to pay a monthly subscription worth every single penny in my opinion, which is why I don't share what workouts I do because those are hers. And I think one, it's also illegal to share something that someone else creates, but two, that's not right. Like I'm not gonna share something she worked hard on 
for free. So um, I did those three times a week and I also made sure that every single day of my pregnancy I walked and walked and walked and walked because I heard that was a really good way to keep off swelling. I don't know if there was any truth to that but I literally got to the end of pregnancy with no swelling and even after I had my baby had no swelling at all. So I do contribute a lot of that to my just miles that I would walk. Um, I always made sure I hit 10K steps every single day in pregnancy. So that was as far as fitness goes. When I got pregnant, I was trying to make sure I was the healthiest I could be. It took us about five months to get pregnant um, with Ezra, and we just wanted to make sure that we were doing everything that we could because baby making is so out of control. There's not much you can really do except for do the baby dance and just hope it works um, at the end of the day. So we were just kind of taking our health really serious and felt like at least, you know, we're doing that. I don't know. And so we were eating very healthy, lots of dark leafy greens, lots of grilled chicken. Um, I was eating salmon a lot, lots of eggs, avocados, um, whole foods. I still am a believer that everything in moderation and nothing is inherently bad for you unless you have an allergy or, you know, a sensitivity. Um, so I eat cake and cookies and I have always loved chocolate and I, I live to eat. I don't eat to live. So um, that's kind of how I, I took it. You know, I ate 90% very clean, 10% fun. And I loved that because it was just the perfect place for me. So get pregnant. Um, food versions were horrible the first trimester. My doctor literally was like, honey, you just have to survive it. Like that's just our goal. <laughs> it's just getting you through the first trimester. Then we'll see where you're at the second. Um, it was pretty much the day I hit my second trimester. Um, and I mean that truthfully, almost all my food aversions went away except for salmon, which kind of makes me a little queasy. Um, and I don't know why, because I loved it before getting pregnant. So I was able to eat healthy through my entire pregnancy. Um, and that helped when I got to the very end of my pregnancy, I gained a total of 29 pounds. So maintained my workouts and my healthy eating through my entire pregnancy. 29 pounds on the dot the day that I left for the hospital. I'm so glad. I was just curious. And so I told Sam, I was like, wait, let me go. <laughs> I was stressing him out that morning. I was like getting ready. And he was like, all right, let's go get in the car. And I was like, wait, let me weigh myself. And he was like, Mariah, can we go get in the car? And I wanted to take pictures. And he was like, if you don't get in the car, I thought he was actually gonna like pick me up and throw me into the car at one point. He was so stressed. I was like, wait, I wanna weigh myself. 29 pounds. Um, and I gave birth to an eight pound baby. And I came home and I weighed 17 pounds more than I weighed when I got pregnant. So within 10 days, I was back down to about five, I think it was five or six pounds over my pre-pregnancy weight. I contribute that to breastfeeding because when I was in those first six weeks postpartum, I was like, eh, yeah, I am eating whatever I want. And also I was super hungry. So I was eating just anything and everything because of breastfeeding. Um, I held on to that weight until I was nine weeks postpartum, back at my pre-pregnancy weight. But full disclosure, I started working out at six weeks postpartum. So I did have three weeks of, you know, of, of uh, weight training there. But because I had an easy postpartum experience, when I got my clearance at six weeks, I felt good to start back at the sweat workout um, and I just basically did what I did while I was pregnant. So I don't have time now for Orange Theory or even much less the gym. So I do the sweat workouts three days a week. I do the full body, upper body, and lower body. Um, and then the other days of the week, I do try to get in about a 30 minute walk a day. It does not always happen. Usually I'll do it after we put Ezra down because it is still daylight out. Um, you know, when we do reach fall time and it starts getting darker earlier, I don't quite know if I'm going to be able to do it or if I'll have to get up earlier to get my, my steps in, but just getting outside, getting some sun on my skin makes me feel really good. And it is still a way to move your body. So in some way, shape, form or fashion, I move my body every single day for at least 30 minutes. I think that's how I've been able to get back to my weight relatively quickly. Um, but I wasn't in any rush. I actually was going to give myself about six months before I even concerned myself with weight loss. I knew I wanted to get back to working out because it, what it does for me mentally is unmatched working out and eating right just mentally make me feel so good but i wasn't even gonna worry about the like weight loss aspect until my baby was six months old because god six months is still young so that was kind of my goal um but it, it just ended up happening my weight loss happened a lot earlier so it's six weeks postpartum i just again real simple started working out with the sweat workouts three times a week but moving my body every day six weeks postpartum is when i said okay ma'am we need to start eating healthy again because I was starting to notice a decline in just how I felt. 
I just felt sluggish all the time. Um, and again, my baby slept through the night at 10 days old, so it did not, he had no, nothing to do with that. Um, I started to just feel cranky and I noticed that I was getting just headaches on headaches on headaches because I was eating a lot more sugar than I usually do. Sugar is something that really gives me a headache. If it is like there are drinks, if a drink has over like 10 grams of sugar in it, I, oh, I can't, I'm just a water drinker because something about, I don't know what it is, but something about drinks, I, I can't do it. It just gives me the biggest sugar rush. So I started eating healthy again. I am now eating over again, 2000 calories a day for a couple reasons. One breastfeeding burns, I think it's about 500 calories. I think this is what they say, 500 calories a day or 500 calories a session or something. Um, it burns a lot of calories, but even more than that, I work out three times a week and I walk every day and I want to make sure that my breast milk supply is, is really good for Ezra. So I eat over 2000 calories, but I do count my macros and I always make sure I hit my carb count, my fat count and my protein count every single day. The biggest thing I struggle with is protein. I have always struggled to eat enough protein, but I'm actually getting a little bit better about that. I'm kind of learning foods that are higher in protein that I enjoy. Um, so I do count calories now, but because I am breastfeeding and working out, I am eating super healthy, those 2000 calories. I would say I probably eat every hour of the day at minimum. <laughs> lots of greens, lots of chicken, uh, eggs, avocados. Those are like my top favorites, obviously. I love a lot of broccoli, carrots are good. Uh, we do actually eat a decent amount of red meat in this house. Um, I know some people don't love red meat when they're trying to eat healthier. Mm. I love a good steak. And that's just kind of, you know, how I take my, my eating habits. Um, I am going to try and get a lot better here about sharing meals that I'm eating, things like that, uh, snacks, because I feel like I don't share it a ton, but I feel like that will make the most sense because <sighs> years ago, a girl messaged me and said, what's your secret to, to losing weight? Is it just eating right and working out? And I was floored. I was like, that's not a secret. That's, that's how, that's how it is. And so I kind of want to share those things so that you guys can see there's not really a secret to it. I saw a quote and it said, the secret to success lies in your daily routine. And that is so, so true. And that's just what it is. It's I'm consistent. And whether it you know took me 10 days or 10 months to lose the pregnancy weight, I was going to be consistent. And I knew that I was going to do everything in my power to get back to a healthy place with eating and working out. And then I knew that eventually at some point the weight loss would happen. But that's something so many people on Instagram have said, oh, you bounce back quick. Oh, I wish my body would have dropped weight like yours did. Oh, I wish this and that. And it's like, I had a very healthy pregnancy, but I am so consistent. And that is one thing, like if you know me, you cannot say about me ever. I have a daily routine. I love it. I do it. That's how I thrive. And so that is how I was able to get back to my pre-pregnancy weight. Um, it's just continuing to eat healthy, continuing to work out. If I have a bad day where I don't eat healthy, I don't punish myself for it. I don't say, oh, screw it all. You know, good, we'll try again next week. I just wake up the next morning and decide that today I'm gonna eat healthier. Um, I ate a lot of sugar yesterday, so today I'm gonna eat a lot more green. So there were a couple questions that I got over and over again when I put up a question box and asked if you guys wanted to you know, hear about this. The one that I got the most was how do you find the time and either, so like today my mom has Ezra while I work, um, so I'll work out while she has him, I will work out after he goes to bed, or I will work out while he has naps. His naps are pretty inconsistent except for the first one of the day, so usually his first one's really, really good, it's usually about an hour, hour and a half, so I try to make sure that I work out there. The other one is what program do I do specifically within the sweat workout app? Um, I know that that one was in there and it was, I do the high intensity program. And then there was another one and I think it said something about like, Still being in pain postpartum so i recommend looking into pelvic floor therapy if you are still in pain i personally did not have any pelvic floor issues maybe that did contribute because i worked out my whole pregnancy i don't know but i very strongly encourage you to do that because i hear of there are women i know who are still in pain um, in postpartum and pelvic floor therapy helped them tremendously so i hope that that answered all your questions i really hope i didn't offend anybody i'm sure i did I'm sure there's someone who will fuss at me, but that's just what works for me. Eating healthy, working out, and being consistent with it. Um, from literally pre-conception to today, when my son is four months old. So 
yeah, I rambled a lot to just say something so simple, but I hope that answered your questions. Please let me know if you have any other questions and leave them in the comment section below. Love you guys so much, and I will see you in the next vlog.